All right, we're back with more. It's the number one Cochrane Sports Show. Now we're talking about a new potential rule that's going to be voted on. Everyone's kind of tired of the onside kick. Because they've uh, used safety issues to make it less effective, it has become almost always ineffective. Uh, 6% conversion on these things over the last couple of years. So now they're talking about a fourth and 15 play, which is if you trail, you get two chances to use this play and no more. But you have a fourth and 15, you score, you make it a game, you get the ball at your own 25. If you get 15 yards, you get to remain in possession of the football. Rich, do you like this rule? Because I do. I'm sick of watching the onside kick. More specifically, the safety issues that comes with it. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I can't tell you how much I hate this proposal right now. Wow. The Eagles came up with this. Bob, I have to highly disagree with you on this one. This is probably the most ridiculous proposal I've ever heard. It's like a fifth down. You're giving a team another chance after they won basically 59 minutes of the game and you're giving them another chance to get back into the game. It's not the XFL. It's the NFL. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I hope it fails miserably. So what's the alternative, Rich? A play where you have no hope of converting it? I mean, is that what you're fine with? If you win 59 minutes, uh, you deserve to win the game. In the last, I, I would keep it the way it is. I don't mind it the way it is right now. Maybe, uh, I, I don't know, a, a, more points for a longer field goal. Or so. I, I don't know what to do, but well, the way, I don't think the, the way fourth that it is 15, because right it's an extra chance so, to get back in the game. And that's fine. The that's way, what they're trying to do with an onside right. kick, too. The, the way that I it is it. right now, the onside kick is a wasted play. I don't understand, guys, how it was such a safety issue. Uh, that, that, to me, is something that has never been successfully explained. Were there all kinds of players getting injured on onside kick plays? I don't remember that. I used to love the onside kick when 10 guys would be on one side of the field. You get your hands team out there, and let's go. Let's see if you can recover it. How about the surprise onside kick like the Steelers in the Super Bowl? Bob, you were there sitting with Chuck Knoll. Yes. That was a big moment in that Super Bowl against Dallas. And by Dallas. the way, Chuck I mean, loved that call. He did because of the element of surprise. But go ahead. So, so now we can't do that anymore in the name of – I get you want to make, make football – you can't make it safe. It's not a safe game. But you want to avoid unnecessary injury. I just don't remember onside kicks that were leaving guys, you know, out cold, leaving the field uh, in stretchers. I just don't. No, I don't either, and I don't understand why they had to mess with it. It had a decent conversion rate as it was. The reason they're even considering this is because now it's almost ineffective all the time. How about this quote, Rich? I'm going to read it to you. It's from Andy Reid, interestingly. He says, I don't like messing with the credibility of the game. He sides with you. He likes the onside kick. But my point is you have Patrick Mahomes on your team. Fourth and 15, that guy can make any conversion at any time. Why would you not want to change for that in case you trail in the game and you need to come back? Well, I think because he wants to keep football the way it is. Boring right? at times. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't want to change the game like this. I, I what think did you say with the two-point conversion when it was coming in? A lot of people didn't I like love the two-point conversion. But a lot of people didn't. I like the two-point conversion. And I wouldn't mind maybe instituting some of the XFL's field goal, uh, maybe getting more points that way. But to give, an, give a team a, a, a one shot to get, to get back into the game, what if they score? Again, do they get another chance? Like, it, it's an extra down you get. You get one shot. And if you convert it, you could score again. If you have a really good offense and you have the momentum Stop and you're coming them. back, defenses are on their heels. <laughs> I just don't think it's fair. I don't like it. You win the first 59 minutes and 30 seconds, you lose the game. Well, Aaron Rodgers has done a pretty good job of that over the years, too, with one Hail Mary pass. And a lot of people don't like that play either because of no, nothing's ever called, Andrew. So debate is good, I suppose. Well, do you think it's going to pass? Is... Do either one of you guys think it's yes. going to pass? I do. Yes. I think do you it really? Will. Yep. Yeah. Big time. I hope it doesn't. All right, now it's time to go around the horn <laughs> for this week's Smooth Moves, brought to you by Pittsburgh Supplier of the smoothest granite marble and quartz countertops you're going to find anywhere. Armina Stone, Smooth Moves, Rich to you first. I'm going to go with golf again. Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Tiger Woods, and Phil Mickelson. Pretty entertaining today. Golf's back. Not only that, but they raised $20 million for COVID aid relief. So that was awesome to do that. And I'm going to dive deeper on this one. I'm going to give another smooth move to Tom Brady. He couldn't hit a, a anywhere green on the golf course for the first uh, how many holes? But the guy holds hey. out from 100 yards to make a birdie. He didn't make any pars, but he made a birdie. 
Um, so my smooth moves goes to this event and raising money uh, for a great cause right now. Did he did he get a change of pants because he split his <laughs> he pants did, there? Yeah. Did he? <laughs> that was <laughs> that was on smooth move to uh, you, whoever can get him a new pair of uh, khakis or dockers or whatever to play <laughs> the rest of the round. No, look, my smooth move goes to goes to this guy who's training Juju Smith Schuster. He picked Khloe Kardashian's trainer, Bob. I know you got to love that. Reality TV personified <laughs> Juju Smith Schuster. Look, if he doesn't have a good year, he could just go work for the E Television Network, which is maybe what he wants to do actually more than anything else, anyways. Maybe he can take, now that Jay Cutler's divorced, maybe he can take his spot on that TV show. Because to me, he's a better reality TV star than number one it's wide receiver. It's about a so revenge body, baby. Revenge body. Nobody has it. Khloe got it. And Juju wants it. Armina Stone, Pittsburgh's largest supplier of the smoothest granite, marble, and quartz countertops you can find anywhere. Check them out at Armina Stone. When we come back, we're talking hockey next.